Hi, my YouTube family. Just making sure this camera is zoomed in right. You got to make sure it's cleaned off because if not, it'll be a little blurry. I just wanted to come to my family, my YouTube family. Just have a discussion, you know, about what you want in life. What do you want to see in a man? Or a woman. Example. Well, right now, let me let me just go to the ladies right now. What do you consider a high value man? Okay. Um, is that defined through his wallet? Is that defined uh, materialistic things or the things that he has? Car he drives, the home he live in. Would you consider that to be a high value man? Um, what is it that you look to from a man? What is it about a man that you would want that you would consider uh, worthy or something that you consider to be a man? Would it be his character? Would it be his love for God? Uh, would it be his uh, way that he treats and respects a woman? Would it be the little things? Okay. Well, let's say this. Relationships takes work. Okay. It takes commitment. It takes sacrifice you got to give up a part of you you can't be selfish what I consider a man is a man that has unconditional love for his woman or his wife respect for his woman and wife that don't mind working they don't want to see her hurt you know being in a relationship, you know, they they may do things, you know, that may cause her to feel a certain way. But ultimately, he loves that woman to the very end that he don't want to see her hurt. He protects her. He, he's a provider. He's not abusive. He loves her. He loves her children. If she has children by somebody else or if they have children, he'll love that, that child, protect that child. He protects his home. Yeah, he shares. He he's he's um, concerned how he hurts her. If he if he does anything, he's concerned how she may feel, or he'll think about something before he do it uh, and hurt her. You know, he he's not perfect. No, she's not either. But I guarantee you, she'll he'll put her on the highest pedal because he loved that woman. That's what I consider high value man. I consider a man that's God fearing, you know, not selfish. Okay, respects his mother. Okay, respects the children. Don't provoke the children. You see, there's other qualities other than money. You know, your stature. Oh well. Oh. I dress a certain way. I'm around a certain group of people. I have certain prestige about myself. That's what makes me great. You're beneath me. No, that doesn't make you a high value man. Okay. Respecting a woman makes you a high value man. Respecting yourself. You, that's not pretty. That doesn't look good. If you see a man that's uh, just shows no res the lack of respect for women, that's that's nothing to be proud of. But we see society is a lost world. The norm has flocked. 
to something that really shouldn't be normal. But that's the way the world is today. But it's okay. Maybe a lot of things that's been put before us, we've uh, accustomed ourselves to that certain or or maybe we as people are dealing with a pain and we're looking for a person or a leader or a person that may be outspoken and willing to say and do this because we may uh, not have the guts to uh, challenge our situation. Like you see the example before you. So they praise that. They praise bad behavior. They praise uh, uncommon behavior because they may not have uh, the willingness to do it themselves. It's approach, it, you know, you can approach a situation differently and still get good results. You still can get good results. But it just seemed like uh, wrongdoing is, is, is part of norm and People are becoming numb to something that seems unnatural or things that are not something that we used to do in the past. You know what I'm saying? It's well, let me let me not say in the past. Let me say this. Certain behavior are becoming accustomed. You know, people are becoming accustomed to them because now they've become numb to behavior that we should question. Okay. But getting back on the track of a good man. A good man is a high value man. A good man um, that respects his mother, loves his wife, cares for his family, loves God, protects his home, and not abusive. That's a man. That is a good man. No. You're not perfect. Mm -mm. No, you're not perfect. You, you may even go out there and cheat on your wife. You know? But I guarantee you, if that woman loves you, the good or outweigh should outweigh the bad, as long as you don't keep doing it. The good should outweigh the bad, and she'll forgive you because she know that you're a good man. She know that you are worthy of keep it. Because there's a lot of great qualities in you. Good man. And we don't want to lose that. But we can change. For whatever reason why we do the things we do. And we can have the appearance of just an awful person. But we can change. We can. We can change for the better. But ladies, what's your take on it? What did you consider a high value man? What do you consider a good man? Okay. I'm going to start having live videos and I want to hear your point of view. And I'm not just not going to limit that to women, men and women. Okay. Let's get your viewpoint. That's all we respect each other's opinion. Allow each other to speak. And uh, let's talk about it. Okay, guys? I'm just thinking about you. And I just wanted to come share with you. I know I, I did a video and uh, it was looking kind of a little blurry. I was like, wait a minute. I got to um, clean my camera off so it can have a, a better, um, better lighting and, and make sure it's not all blurry and things like that, guys. But look, guys. I have my little, my wig on. I'm starting to get into this wig thing. I got so many beautiful wigs. Like, ladies, you got to try some of these wigs. I'm telling you. Try some wigs, honey. Versatile. Be versatile. You know, if you like wearing wigs, um, you can. There's nothing wrong with it. All right? There's nothing wrong with it. All right, ladies? But anywho, um, if you want to, Try you some different wigs and, and beautify yourself. There's nothing wrong with being different. That's what makes the world go round. That's what makes the world unique and beautiful. Be different. 
then it's not so boring. Okay, guys? But I want you to know that I've been thinking about you. We're going to get that platform going. Ladies, I want to, I want to know what you're thinking. I want to talk. Okay, guys? Even the guys, you can chime in. We don't have to be cruel to one another. We can. It's okay to disagree. And we still can have a conversation, sit down and talk. Okay? We don't have to be cruel. We're adults here. Let's act like it, okay? All right, guys. I'm trying to get this earring in there. that It doesn't want to cooperate. But look, guys. I hope you had a great holiday. Uh, the other day, what, what was it, the 4th? And I'm sure everybody would sp spend some time with family. If not, I'm hoping that you enjoyed your time uh, away or with family. Uh, for those that are that travel out of town, um, I'm wishing you safe travels back to your destination. And guys, it's so good to be loved. And if you can't find the love, love yourself. It starts with you. It starts with you. Love yourself first. And then if anything else come out of that's extra, baby. Okay? Love yourself. That's way, that way you know what real true love is. By loving yourself first. So when you hear things that are hurtful. Or when you start feeling things that are just a shock to your inner soul. That's that light coming on. That's the light coming on. You can't. You don't have to waste time. You don't have to entertain. That's that. That's that instinct that the Lord bless you with to know. Hey, stop. There's something wrong. You don't have to endure hardship and pain. The suffering. And we can talk, people. I've sat down with many people before and talked. Don't always agree. Okay. Sometimes people find favor in other people. For whatever reason. But we can talk about anything in a respectful way. Okay, ladies. Okay, gentlemen. All right. But let's get together and talk about it. How you feel. What do you want in a woman? Let's start by saying that. What do you want in a woman? Let's not attack your character. Let's not uh, 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 try to dig and let's find out what you really want. And let's talk about that. Now, sometimes hard truth may hurt. But we can soothe that with a little bit more comforting sound advice. Okay, people. Go to my page, Patricia E. Dance Jackson. Smash the like button. Subscribe. And click the notification bell. I guarantee I keep you abreast of everything that's going on. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Be safe. Keep your head above water. It's going to be okay. I'll talk to you later. Smooches. Bye-bye.